As everyone knows, we have a new management team running the Department of Transportation, which was formerly known as the Department of Transportation and Communications, or DOTC. Right after the changing of the guard, some old policies, which were just spoken of before, are up for quick and strict implementation. For some insights into these new but old policies, we have invited to monitoring today, this week, former TV host, who is the President Spokesperson of the DOT or DOTR, Assistant Secretary, Ms. Cherry Mercado. Good afternoon, Ms. Cherry, and welcome to Motoring Today. Hello, Butch, and hello to all the viewers of Motoring Today. Now, there are presently announced policies of the DOTR that are expected to meet the usual protests from affected parties. One of them is the ban of UV Express and similar modes of transport from plying the length of EDSA as a means to help decongest the metro's main thoroughfare. Can you kindly briefly explain this new policy and the rationale behind its implementation? When it comes to the UV Express that we're not allowing to pass EDSA anymore, ni review yung kanilang mga prangkisa, no? And dun sa prangkisa nila, wala talagang nakalagay na pwede silang dumaan ng EDSA. Ngayon, there was a memorandum circular that allowed them to go from one point to another. Kasi Butch, the whole, the whole point of a UV Express is that it's supposed to be a point-to-point -point, uh, uh, passenger vehicle, no? So yung point-to-point -point na yan, uh, pwede ka lang magsakay at magbaba. You can load and unload passengers within a 2-kilometer radius from point A to point B. So in between that, if it's not within the 2-kilometer radius, hindi ka dapat magsasakay at magbababa. So this will not, uh, this will, it's a developmental route that was uh, approved by the LTFRB. So ibig sabihin, pang supplement din yan dun sa ibang mga public transport that we have. Now the whole idea of EDSA, is for high capacity buses to be plying that route no so later on we want to rationalize all the public utility vehicles in terms of what their what their role is in complementing each other and what their role is really in uh, in trying to transport all the commuters so we're looking at uh, the railways ideally when it's more stable and more more reliable uh, that they'll be able to transport a big number of people kasi yan po talaga yung ating uh, uh, ating prioridad ngayon, yung ating rail system dahil yan ang nagkakarga ng mas maraming tao. Now, as expected, there would be, if there aren't any yet, uh, protest mula sa mga operator ng mga UV Express kasama din ang mga commuters na regular na gum uh, gumagamit nito. How does the DOTR intend to handle these protests? Some of which, sa mga nakaraang panahon, ay meron pang mga threats ng uh, the, the staging of public transport strikes. Uh, minsan, Butch, it's a matter of communicating it and trying to understand each other, no? And also discipline. Sabi nga ni Secretary Artugade, minsan pag nagdi-disiplina ka, may konting kurot eh. No? May konting paalala. Meron tayong mga ibang mga nakasanayan na no na hindi tama na kailangan nating ibalik sa tama. Halimbawa, yung mga pasahero na kahit saan pwede bumaba. No, marami tayong kailangan i-correct dito sa ating uh, sistema pagdating sa disiplina, pagdating dun sa pagbabalik dun sa dapat nating ginagawa. We're hoping that uh, some of those who are protesting that it's a matter of communicating to them kung ano yung rational behind this. And uh, ang laging sinasabi ni Secretary Tugade dyan, the Department of Transportation, the government, is not here to hinder uh, businesses or people from making profits. In fact, it's the other way around. The government should be here to provide the environment for businesses to flourish. No? Yung mga, meron na pong mga nagpoprotesta, meron na pong mga nagre-reklamo, meron na pong nagpadala sa amin ng mga sulat, and the secretary is very open to talking to them. It's just a matter of scheduling. Ako po personally ang naghahanap ngayon ng schedule para makapag-usap po yung dalawang kampo but we're hoping that uh, we can communicate it through we can uh, fix it through communication now reports have it that the DOTR is bent on finally implementing the phasing out of public utility vehicles yung mga 15 years old and older 
gaano ka seryoso po bang DOTR in implementing this move which past administrations failed to do so for political reasons. Uh, the phasing out of the public utility vehicles that are 15 years old and above, uh, this is something that Secretary Togade feels that we really have to do uh, for the safety no, and convenience and also for, for to reduce pollution, which is one of the things that uh, we also want to contribute to. No? So, ito pong pag-phase out ng mga lumang mga public utility vehicles again no this is not meant to cut down their source of income kaya nga po ang ang pinapag-utos po ngayon ni Secretary Tugade ay pag-aralan no ng departamento yung isa pong sangay ng departamento natin dito sa Department of Transportation pag-aralan yung mga loans na pwedeng ibigay dito po sa mga drivers na maglilipat towards a more modern para po sa isang mas maayos, mas uh, ligtas at mas convenient na na public transport, na public transport. For example, from old buses to new buses. Meron na po tayong point-to-point -point buses and these are examples of the kinds of buses that we want to ply our roads. Yun pong ma maayos, malinis, uh, may may babaan ang mga may stroller at may wheelchair naka Euro 4 emission na po ito, no? at the minimum, pwede rin pong hybrid. Ngayon, para po dun sa mga buses who are already plying the roads, no? at kung meron na kayong prangkisa at operator na kayo, you will get a uh, priority kung kayo ay mag apply for P2P uh, franchises. No? So, pwede pong we are encouraging pa bus uh, operators to move to P2P, no? Kung makakayanan ninyo sana itong mga requirements. Kasi para din po sa pasahero, it's a lot more convenient and it's a lot safer and the emissions will drastically uh, get lowered, no? Now, isa sa mga maraming pangako ng, ng Duterte administration, while it was still wooing voters, ay to solve the Metro's mind-boggling traffic problem in 100 days from day one of its rule. Ito po ang schedule na ito ng DOT, uh, DOTR uh, uh, ay masusunod na magagawa in 100 days or is there a revised timeline? And if there is, what is it? Uh, in terms of the 100-day timeline, the Secretary Tugade himself is a kind of person who works by timeline. No? So, itong 100 days na, na ipinangako no, ng Department of Transportation, ito pong mga to ay tinatrabaho na talaga ngayon para makuha na natin. Halimbawa, yung, yung lisensya natin, ano, driver's license na ipinagutos ni Pangulong Duterte from 3 years to 5 years. Uh, by October po, yung mga magre-renew ng lisensya. By October, sa NCR, sa National Capital Region, kapag dito kayo nagpa-renew no, or kumuha ng lisensya sa National Capital Region, it's already good for 5 years. Pero ito po ay para dun sa mga walang history of violation or uh, especially kung yung violation are uh, over speeding or reckless driving. No? Um, Pinag-aaralan pa para dun sa mga may history of violation kung 3 years lang ang ibibigay sa kanila o ano yung ibang mga pwedeng gawin. Under the principle na ayon nga po kay Secretary Tugade, kapag tayo ay nagwa-violate ng batas, eh hindi po tayo entitled to conveniences. No? MRT, uh, napakahirap po talaga ng problema ng MRT. We have very old trains and uh, there are maintenance problems to address. And we're trying to address lahat po ng pwedeng gawin within uh, our powers right now. That's within the legal means that are available uh, to us right now. Ginagawa na po natin. Yung grinding ng rails na sinamulan na po nung last administration, natapos na po natin yung grinding ng rails. Yung, um, yung, yung goal natin in 100 days is from 16 trains, magiging 20 trains yung umaandar. Ngayon po, in some days, na-attain na natin yung 20 trains, pero nasa 100 days pa tayo dyan, ano, na promise. So, uh, hindi pa reliable din yung 20 trains. Minsan 18, minsan 16. We're averaging 16 to 18 trains a day. 
Thank you very much for your presence here at Motoring Today. Uh, before we wrap up, would you have any message to our viewers relevant to the issues we have just discussed? Um, yes, Butch, thank you for giving me the chance to give uh, a message to our uh, viewers. First of all, uh, we'd like to uh, manage the expectations of our people no? because the traffic problem is really not just a problem. As Secretary Tugadi said, it's a crisis and it's not about to turn around in a day or even 100 days or maybe even six years no we would like we have a vision no secretary Tugade has a vision of a uh, an efficient and cohesive national transport system for the whole country and may input naman po dyan yung mga of course the bright ideas from before no um he would like to to put in place uh out after his six years in, in, in this term, no, after uh, he would like to put in place after six years a 30 year roadmap that uh, would be legislated so that the future leaders will have to follow it. No, um, ito po yung long term kasi he believes that we cannot just look in increments of six years, no, na babaguhin dun sa next, no, uh, at least we have. 30 years to look forward to for that particular um, vision of a cohesive uh, rail system that's all over the country that will connect no um, major major cities major municipalities and uh, will boost economic activities we'll have car cargo rails we'll have modernized sea transport pero bago po yon, we're starting to plant the seeds now but we're looking forward to a um, a uh, long-term vision pero i guess we're also asking our motorists no our uh, our commuters na makisama din po pagdating sa disiplina dahil uh, if both of us are working together no that that model for change when the top and the bottom meet in the middle that's the that's the faster way and the more uh, efficient way to effect change no so, sana po, konting disiplina sa daan at saka uh, pakitulungan na rin po kami, no? Ito pong problema natin sa, sa trapiko, pati na po sa infrastruktura, ay uh, hindi po talaga madali, no? So, we, we, need your, we need your understanding, we need your cooperation, and uh, rest assured that the Department of Transportation is doing what it can. I've seen the people the undersecretaries and the secretary and the agency heads are working very hard uh, for this butch. Thank you again, Ms. Cherry. Thank you, butch, and happy motoring. TV personality Ms. Cherry Mercado and now spokesperson and assistant secretary of the DOTR with insights into some motoring issues presently faced by the government agency tasked to rule over all of the country's transportation concerns. Our guest this week on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum.